Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, just watched Javonta Tank Davis flatten Roly Romero. Um, well, I say he flattened him. Roly actually got up, which was to his credit, but it was in no condition to continue. His legs just wouldn't work. Referee gave him every chance, told him to sidestep. Roly couldn't do it. The ref waved it off in the sixth round, quite rightly. Good stoppage. Um, but until that point, it was interesting. Interesting fight. It was Tank didn't throw that many punches. I think the commentator at the end said he'd thrown about 29 punches in the whole fight. And of course, if you've got that type of wallop, uh, you only need one to land correctly and it's all over. And the undefeated Roley had never been hit like that before. He probably doesn't want to be hit like that again. But it was interesting because... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but after four rounds, I had Roley 4 nil up. And yeah, a couple of those could have gone either way, but I was scoring it live, just, you know, watching it. And thinking, oh. First round, very, very little in it. Um, I think Roley landed one right cross on the, the Southport tank. Uh, and that, that literally separated the fighters from that particular round. Second round, there was a little sort of cameo where Roley appeared at first to have shaken tank. But in actual fact, I think Tank slipped and Roley kind of got hold of him and tried to ragdoll him and Tank ended up in the on the floor. But it wasn't a knockdown. It was, you know, pushed him down. Um, I gave Roley that round. Third round, again, um, some decent work from Roley. He was moving forward for the whole fight and trying to get close to land his ammunition. Tank was... Tank appeared to be too patient. And in the third round, he actually threw a... We tried to throw a left cross, I think it was, missed. And it grimaced really, really heavily. You know, like, oh, like he, he hadn't, it couldn't have been his hand because he didn't land a, land a punch. But it's, I thought it was his shoulder might be put out. And you, for a second, you're thinking, whoa, what's going on here? Is this going to be an injury retirement? But no, kind of regrouped. He was OK. Fourth round, again, very, very little in it. I thought Roly might have edged it. So that's 4 0 to Roly, at least on my card. And in the fifth, I gave Tank his first round. I thought he was beginning to look sharper, beginning to open up just a little bit. There was this weird moment where he sort of, he was in the, near the corner and he looked out and said something to someone sitting ringside. This is Tank. Said something and afterwards he revealed, well, someone was saying, come on, open up, get moving, get moving. And I was thinking the same thing. And Tank said, no, 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 no. You know, he isn't, he isn't cooked yet. You know what I mean? It's, I've got to wait for him. I've got to draw his sting a bit more. But of course, if you've got that tactic, there is that 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 uh, possibility that you're sort of waiting too long. And um, and I thought oh, this is this is getting really really intriguing. But like I say, in the fifth round, it looked like Tank was beginning to find his timing, maybe find the range a bit more. Uh, but Rowley was still moving forward. Rowley had no fear. He wasn't overawed by the occasion at all. And he was doing well. Anyway, in the sixth round, more of the same. Rowley stalking, tank moving, using the ring, moving back. Not running, but staying out of range, trying to time Rowley, uh, Rowley's little burst of energy. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened because, excuse me, it's late. What is it now? About six in the morning or something. Been up all night. Anyway. Sure enough, that's what happened. Roly moves in, Tank times him, and with that southpaw, southpaw left hook actually, not a left cross, uh, Tank at his back to the ropes, he caught Roly coming in, and Roly just sort of went flaccid and flopped into the ropes, rolled over and into a sitting position, got up, not a great, uh, not a great level of awareness. Roly's got that sort of, you know, rather dopey. He seems like kind of a dopey kid to be honest, but he's. He, He's got that sort of dopey sort of look about him. Well, he had reason to be to look dopey uh, because the uh, referee said, even though he was standing, referee said, hands up. Roly got his hands up, stepped to the side. Roly tried to move to the side, but it wasn't very convincing at all. And the ref stopped the fight. Uh, Davis went mental. I've won, you know, jumping up and down. Got a bit, a bit. You know, a little bit of verbal afters with Roly. Roly weren't listening because he weren't listening to anything. He was listening to the tweeting birds. Uh, they sat him down, did the old light in the eyes, and then he went straight back to the uh, to, to his dressing room. 
And Tank, yeah. Tank scored a one-punch, six-round technical knockout. So uh, he got the job done eventually. I think my prediction was four rounds for Tank. and it, But I did think, you know, this is one or two of these rounds, Tank's going to have to be careful. Because Roley, if Roley handles the occasion well, and we know he can wallop a little bit, you know, maybe, there was an air of Tank, kind of like Tiafimo Lopez when he took on Cabosis. You know, maybe he's taken him too lightly. Maybe, you know. Um, but no, it, was, it wasn't the case. He, he took a little bit of time to warm up, but when he did, he got a rolly out of there, and that's to his credit. So uh, what's Tank going to do next? Is he going to stay with Mayweather Promotions, re-sign, or is he going to walk off into the sunset? We've had conflicting reports from his own mouth. Um, sometimes it's better the, de better the devil you know, but Rowley thinks, uh, Tank thinks he wants to take charge of his own career, like... Uh, you know, Canelo does. I don't know. I don't know. Eddie Hearn said he's going to make a play for, for Tank. Offer him some, like a decent wage. Pay over the odds, as he said. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But where next for Tank? Um, lightweight, winner of Haney Cambosis, possibly. Yeah, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Maybe Tank will sign with top rank. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, did you see the fight? What do you think? What do you think's next for Tank? Leave your comments below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Like the video. All those likes really help the channel. And certainly the subscribers help the channel. So if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you later. Meanwhile, enjoy your Sunday. It's In, in the UK, it's the early hours of Sunday. It's now about six o'clock, I think. So wherever you are in the world, enjoy yourself. Take care. We'll speak soon. Bye for now.